Hello everyone and welcome back to my 164th custom farm toy series. This time we're going to start the episode off on my carpet because my desk is not big enough to show this one off. This, as many of you know, is a DB120 planter made by Speccast. And uh, basically, you know, it was one of those things I thought it was really cool, but uh, I was never going to buy one because they were, I think, 60 or 70 bucks uh, retail price. And... Uh, there was one that came up for sale on eBay, and uh, it was broken, and I ended up getting it for like 20 bucks with shipping, so not a bad price at all, and uh, otherwise I wouldn't have bought one, but for that price, it's hard to pass up. But if you can see where this brass rod is right there, there's a rivet that was right there, and that rivet was broken, and that's all that was wrong with this thing. I mean, that's a super simple fix. All I got to do is get a little screw and run a little screw in there, and uh, it's 100% back to what it would have been new. And so I'm kind of excited about this. Um, I was, my original thought, you know, was to kind of, yeah, we'll get her fixed and then probably sell it, but uh, shoot for 20 bucks. I don't know. I might just hang on to it for a while because it is sure cool to have. But uh, I can't, unfortunately, I was going to use it as a thumbnail picture, but uh, I can't uh, take a picture of it on my little display because it doesn't fit on my little display. But uh, certainly a, a neat toy. And uh, if any of you guys have been looking at the spec cast planters, I haven't had a chance to look at the rest of them, but uh, this is definitely, definitely worth it. Um, you know, I would even say that I would probably would have paid the the full price for it if I had that kind of money to spend on these things. But uh, so I thought I'd let you guys know that I added that to my collection. And uh, maybe it'll show up in some videos in the future here. But, uh, yeah, I, I don't think I'm really going to do much for custom work to it. You really don't need to because these things are so detailed when you buy them that uh, there's really not much I would do. Um, so I think we'll leave that at that. But uh, a really neat find, and I got a heck of a deal on it. Just to bring you up to date on a couple of my other projects, I've almost got the loader finished for the 4020. I'm going to have to get some blue paint and do some repainting on the loader because it didn't stick very well to the plastic pieces, which... Is kind of to be expected, but uh, I've got to just let some stuff dry on that and trim some stuff down and then get the loader itself glued onto the tractor, and then I think it'll probably be pretty much done. I don't think there's really a whole lot of more I want to do to it, except for maybe I'll run some uh, hydraulic hoses and stuff on it, which will actually be pretty sweet. But uh, that one's just about wrapped up. One thing I should mention on this too is uh, I've been exploring ways of making the loader removable and uh, I haven't really come up with a great idea yet and so if anybody's got any ideas uh, please leave them in the comments. I'd like to be able to remove the whole loader uh, just easily without tools or anything like that but at the same point it's got to be attached well enough that it's it's movable. So uh, yeah if anybody has any ideas for that just let me know. And last but not least is the pull type uh, combine and I've been working a lot on the hitch on that and uh, I've got some ideas and uh, right now I just need to put a little dab of super glue I think on the nut to uh, keep it from spinning loose but uh, that'll hold the hitch pretty tight but I'm going to add a PTO shaft to it for sure and I'm probably going to try and add some uh, hydraulic lines to it. And then uh, I'm also kind of finishing up. I've got some some uh, filler work to do and stuff yet, and some some trimming and everything on the the corn head. But this is the corn head I built for it, and I cut down the four row. I was just had it laying around, and I wasn't going to use it anyways. And so I decided to cut it down and make it into a three row. I don't know if that actually exists, but I thought, what the heck, you know? What did what did it hurt? And so. Uh, you know, if it actually exists, it's kind of neat, and if it didn't, then, uh, you know, it's kind of uh, uh, neat. It could have been a prototype or something, you know, it could be any story that goes along with it. And so this has been a, a really fun project and a really challenging project for me because uh, it's different from a lot of what I do. A lot of what I do is just some uh, customization more so than scratch building, and I had to do, I've had to do a lot of scratch building on this one. And so uh, it's nice because it kind of stretches my stretches my knowledge and kind of gets me outside the box and uh, it's been really fun. Uh, I'm hoping to get the header finished up here pretty soon and get it painted and then uh, we'll see where it goes from there. I got to try and figure out how to get the PTO shaft from the 
tractor to the, where the hitch is at, and then I need to have some sort of gearbox on the corner there and then run it to the combine, and I want to make that look realistic, and so I'm trying to figure out how I'm going to make that. But, uh, yeah, so uh, thanks for watching, and this is just kind of a little bit of progress I've done lately. I've got uh, a whole bunch of ideas, but we'll see how that goes after the toy show. It'll depend on what I can find there. So if you've got any build suggestions at all, go ahead and leave them in the comments. And uh, please make sure you uh, like, subscribe, and share. Thanks for watching.